We've been looking forward to this day for a while. It's one of those days that we've thought about in the back of our minds for a pretty long time. And now that the moment has finally arrived, it feels surreal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have yep. a good one. Oh, this looks so good. I don't even know how to eat this. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to need to leave a reveal. These are some of the best biscuits and gravy I've had. Like, definitely top five. They got some kick to them. Mm. This is not the easiest to eat. Mm. It's so warm. Uh-uh, Walker. I don't think so, mister. Mm. For two years, we've talked about the idea of driving the entirety of the Pan American Highway from Prudhoe Bay, Alaska to Ushuaia, Argentina. Well, the time has finally come to make this pipe dream a reality. Or at least, it all begins today on the famous Dalton Highway in Alaska. Built in 1974 to facilitate the construction of the Trans-Alaska Oil Pipeline, the James W. Dalton Highway is a 414-mile stretch of gravel, dirt, and spots of ruggedly paved road. Mostly used by truckers carrying supplies to the oil fields and dead horse, travelers like ourselves, and hunters, it's a sparsely driven route with very minimal services. It's the only road that reaches the Arctic Circle and beyond in Alaska, as it winds you through incredibly remote terrain.
halfway mark on the Dalton Highway lies the tiny town of Coldfoot, if you can even call it a town. It is said that Coldfoot got its name in 1900 when gold seekers made it this far, got cold feet, and turned right around. But nowadays, it serves as the northernmost truck stop in the U.S. and one of two places where you can fuel up for a pretty penny on the way to Prudhoe Bay. The Ategan Pass in the Brooks Range is the highest point along the Dalton, and surprisingly the highest pass in all of Alaska at 4,800 feet. Though it's maintained all year long, it still poses quite a daunting threat to truck drivers who brave its heights and rough conditions in the winter months. Horse, the destination of many travelers such as ourselves, is a town situated in the Prudhoe Bay area. It's the northernmost point the general public can drive to in all of North America. But it's not like a town in the traditional sense. It's more of a work camp with modular style buildings, construction equipment everywhere, and the primary purpose of all the businesses is basically to support the oil production.
Prudhoe Bay is actually owned by the U.S. government and leased out to oil production contractors, meaning it's mostly private property. The only way to access the Beaufort Sea, which is part of the Arctic Ocean, is to pay $69 for a 30-minute shuttle to take you there. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's, it's chilly, but not too bad. Yeah. I'm gonna take a photo. Okay. And just like that, this is our last night on the Dalton Highway. Who knows if we'll ever find ourselves back in this part of the world. We would be glad to, but there are just so many other places to explore in the limited span of this lifetime. And I don't know if you know this, but Alaska is like really, really far away from pretty much everything. So we made sure to make this trip up and down the Dalton Highway a memorable one.